Okay, I'm back. I'm back. You know, as you know, I um, told y'all I was gonna be back on here, but you know, I just have to. I have to separate the subjects in my video, so <laughs> I do things right. Well, I'm kind of like when I talk about things that this talking about my TV show and stuff like that. Um. I'm talking about getting the show, wanting to do this show, and stuff I'd have to do to get to probably to do it. Well, this is what was going through my mind when I was gone. Because, and I don't know, I actually honestly need an opinion, because I'm really, to be honest with you, as far as not just the show, but just hustle. Just the hustle game. Just hustling, period. You know what I'm saying? Kind of just don't know where to start. You know what I mean? And the reason I don't know where to start is because, you know, even though you have we have social media here and all that, we do not. It's just Louisville. Louisville just not, doesn't have it going on. You know what I'm saying? If you're trying to do anything in in the show business, you know, you can get yourself out there through social media, but who all is going to be looking at social media? Who all is going to be watching? You know what I'm saying? And when you're out here, when I go, and then like, plus, if you go out here and you try to find opportunities to get your foot in the game, you know, I mean, we have, I mean, Louisville does have, have, um, have a music scene, has the entertainment scene, has TV business thing, all that. But majority of it is local. Everything, Louisville is just, Louisville's local, you know? Louisville is not spread out all the time. You know, yeah, we've had a few films here. We've had some movies shown here and stuff. But that's because the writer, whoever was in the film, decided to have it shown here. They came over, wanted to show it here. They weren't from here. It wasn't Louisville wanting to film something, say, we need everybody to film here and stuff. See, they don't have that here in Louisville. You know what I mean? You know, it's like, it's like any, any, it just, it's hard to, it's hard to explain this, but you know, when I was riding on, on the way down to my mom and dad's and on the Greyhound, if y'all remember right, when I, we was going through Atlanta and going down to Florida, it's like, man, this air, this makes me want to get my shine on, you know what I'm saying? You just want to get your shine on, it's the atmosphere, you know what I'm saying? You see, it's the. The drink, it's the atmosphere that fuels and, you know, energizes and motivates, you know what I mean? It's like right here, it's like I get these off and on things. Sometimes I just just get that idea, so now it's not that I want, but sometimes I feel like I should, I just, I be feeling like I should quit, you know? It's a waste of time, you know? Why should I waste my energy putting into something and wait for something? It ain't no guarantee gonna happen, you know. It probably ain't gonna happen at all. So you know, and it's like I'm 43 years old. I'm too old. I'm probably not gonna get. It, it, it is no hope. So give up. I mean, that's the way I felt this morning coming up here. You know, I just I mean. I get that all the time. You know, I don't know if this is what I should do or not. You know, I don't know. You know, I know I shouldn't quit. I don't want to quit. I want to do this. Just the main reason, main thing I got going against me, I'm worried about my damn age. I mean, 43 and a half, 43 is... What does it matter? Oh, little loggy. I'll call you when I get home. I, I'm I'm out here. By the way, I'm waiting to go to the store tomorrow because I just missed the bus. So, 
I'm gonna just get up tomorrow, find somebody, to take me up to save a lot, so I can get some groceries. I don't know if I want to get out here and take the bus. It's gonna be so freaking cold tomorrow. I wanted to just get. Why does Save a Lot gotta close so damn early? Why they gotta close at eight o'clock? How come they can't stay open till ten like everybody else? Now I gotta wait till tomorrow morning. I want to get up tomorrow. Shoot, it's gonna be probably cold in the morning. I ain't gonna get out. I want to just get up and cook a hot breakfast. I'm gonna cook me some. Think I'll cook me some sausage gravy. Ooh, that's what I want for breakfast tomorrow. I want some sausage gravy biscuits and scrambled eggs and some applesauce. That's what I want for breakfast tomorrow. Big old glass of orange juice. Now my son don't eat that biscuits and gravy. But I'll fix him something else. <coughs> But no, I'm just, I'm just seeing opinion, but this is what probably is going to change um, as far as my TV show is going to go the way I want it to go, because there ain't no way I'm going to get this right away, you know, I got to get myself out there, and I did say that I would stay in Louisville until I get the filming of the show done, there ain't no way that shit's going to happen in six months, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like I'm just wasting my time staying here. I feel like I'm wasting my time staying here for some reason. So it could wind up this way. Um, I need I need help on this. I, I need an opinion. Someone's second opinion because. You think Atlanta or somewhere in Florida would be a better place to start out in this? In this, I'll start out, but we're just to start out, yeah, just to get something in this industry. Is this is uh, Atlanta and Florida? I don't even know where in Florida is, but is Atlanta and Florida basically a better place to get that stuff than you know what I'm saying? Where Louisville, you ain't got shit. It's like, Louisville, I'm, I'm in here right now, and I don't even know where to start, you know. And I got social media, but you got to do more than social media. I know I got to do more than social media because not everybody's going to get on social media and see what I have. I have to actually go to these places, go to people in person, all this shit. And sometimes, even though I might look for look for opportunities on social media, you can't always trust everything on the Internet. You got all these companies that are just wanting to make money. You know, it's hard to trust anything. I have, you know, I know it's kind of old fashioned, but it's like I want to, I'd rather see it. I'd rather see that a place is legit and I do better seeing it in person. You know what I'm saying? But basically, let's just say I, I'm probably going to move pretty soon. I'm probably going to move down to either, like I said, Atlanta or wherever I got to go to in Florida to get this shit going. Wherever's the best place to go. But I don't know if I'm just, I mean, I just need, I don't, I don't know. I just need a suggestion. Should I move? As long as I stay here, I can keep filming videos and videos. And and not only that, you know, <coughs> this is the thing. I want them, the first season, first few, first couple seasons of my show to be filmed here in Louisville. You know what I'm saying? Because it's where I'm from. It's where all this started. Everything else. But you know, the fact that may not happen. I may have, like I said, if I wind up going to Atlanta or Florida or somewhere, I may have to do the first season in those places, and then come back. And I might have to move back here to do the filming of the show. But I'll probably be living here just for the filming of the show. <laughs> nah, I said, really? I said, I love my hometown, but I'm ready just to get the hell out of here. I said, if I just stay here, this, ain't, this shit ain't... I'm afraid if I stay here, this dream that I'm trying to pursue ain't going to go nowhere, you know? I just don't think it's going to go nowhere. It's hard to get out here 
and market anything around here. I know it's worse places than this, but I mean, but does everybody feel me? But that's honestly, that's it's not really a change in the direction and the concept to show nothing like that. Or maybe just a change as to when, when and where I'll be filming the show the first season. Because like I said, I may not be here for that. For, I'm probably not going to be here. Like I said, I, I'm ready to get my ass out of here. I am ready to get my ass out of Louisville. It is so boring here. It's just like... I mean, I miss my friends and everything, but I just got to go where the atmosphere, basically, like I said, I, I got to go where it's happening. I got to go where it's happening. <laughs> and I just need someone's opinion, or give or take on this. I know a lot of people here in Louisville don't really think I should leave, regardless. They think I need to stay here. The reason they think I need to stay here is I guess they're afraid that I ain't going to make it anywhere else. I don't know if that's what it is or they miss me. That's one thing to miss somebody, but like, I'd like say my freaking, you know, these workers, caseworkers, therapists, and all this shit, they don't think I should move. They think moving should be out of the question. They think I need to stay here where I have my support system. They think I need to stay where I have my support system and all that shit. But you know, I don't know, but just this standstill in life is just getting to me. You know, when you just got... Uh, it's hard to explain it. It's hard to explain. It's just not happening here. It's not happening. It's the same old shit over and over. Like I said, when I came back, I said, I know I was glad that things, there were things I was glad to get back home to, but just coming back to Louisville, I just felt blahed out. I was like, blah, blah. I was like, I am so damn bored with this place. I'm getting more bored with this city. I said, I'll miss my friends a lot, but I'm just so bored with my bored with my city right now. There ain't nothing happening here. Nothing happening. It's the same old shit over and over. And it's like this all over all over this whole state. The whole state of Kentucky's like this. Same old shit. Same old shit. You know they don't change shit, you know, like I said. They, Sometimes, like I said, this is how Kentucky wants it. They don't want nothing happening here. They want to be low key. They don't want stuff going on up here. Well, especially if you go to other, go to some other little small towns here, they'll sit there and say they don't want what Louisville has. They don't want what this other city has. They got too much crime and all that shit. Like, where was it at? Pulaski County, Somerset. They said they didn't want the economy. They said they don't want no booming economy in their city because they said it brings too much crime and shit. It brings things they don't want. But still, I wouldn't give a shit. You're going to have crime regardless. I don't know what they're talking about. Shoot, you don't have a good economy. People going to be doing things, doing whatever they got to do to get by. So you're still going to have crime. I guess they, they just like I said, a lot of these people in Kentucky, they ain't into that fast lifestyle shit. Yeah, it, it's a slow state. This whole state is slow. They are very behind in this state. This city's kind of behind. They're not as bad as Ashland. Ashland, Kentucky, now they're behind. They're behind. You know what, if you go shopping... You go to their malls and all that shit, shop places, they're still playing. It's like if you was there in 95, no, 96, 97, went to the malls there, they're still playing, they're still playing music from the 80s like it's still the 80s. Like that's the number one hit. 
still playing Debbie Gibson's Lost in Your Eyes like it's still a number one hit. <laughs> I said, you know, that was back in 89. I think you're playing this at the wrong time. I said, get with the times, people. Shoot, I got to tell you what, I got some stories to tell about that. Boy, when I was at my mom and dad's house this weekend, boy, my mom was telling me some messed Mom and dad was telling me all kinds of messed up shit about our family. <laughs> I'll get to that later. But I'm getting ready to go take my ass on back home because I'm waiting till tomorrow to go to the store. Yeah, I just missed my bus. That bus don't come again till about 8 o'clock and the store already be closed. I don't know why Save a Lot wants to wait. What doesn't want to close till? Why they want to close so damn early? Why they want to close at eight o'clock? Isn't that a shit? You know what? I didn't even make my grocery list out anyway, so doesn't matter. Like I said, I know I we, I'm gonna want breakfast. Being cold as it is outside, I'm gonna want to wake up and have breakfast in the morning, but. I said, I'm going to wake up and want breakfast in the morning. As soon as I get up, I'm going to be hungrier than shit. But like I said, I'll just get up, pick me up something, have somebody take me straight to the store. I don't know if I'm going to want to get out here and take the damn bus. It's going to be five degrees until you got a low of five degrees. It's 18 out right now. 18 degrees and the temperature's dropping. I might have had to come home with cold-ass weather. It's only getting up to 23 degrees tomorrow, too. Well, I'll see everybody later. It's good to talk to everybody again. And if, you know, I don't, I don't need, you know, I just need an opinion. What do y'all think? Should I go ahead and move? Or should I stay here? You know, just as far, you know. So what what what's everybody's opinion on this? Especially when it comes to what shit the stuff I'm doing right now. You know, bring that into consideration. So I hope to see y'all later. I'll probably see y'all you probably see me on here again tonight. Peace. <laughs>